This tutorial seeks to provide an explanation behind the expectations theory. Recall that the yield curve represents the relationship between interest rates and time. So the first yield curve, called a normal yield curve, is when interest rates are expected to increase in the future. The second yield curve, called a flat yield curve, is when there's no difference between interest rates in the short term and the long term. And then the third yield curve, called an inverted yield curve, is when interest rates are expected to decrease in the future. The expectations theory can explain each of these three yield curves. Let's explain how the expectations theory works in relation to a normal yield curve. Let's say an investor has a five-year investment horizon. For this five-year horizon, the investor can choose between two types of investment. A represents a one-year bond that provides a return or a yield of 8%. So over a period of five years, the investor can have five one-year bonds. What does that mean? That means at the beginning of year one, he'll take out a one-year bond, which will mature at the end of the year. And he'll do the same at the beginning of year two, year three, year four, and year five. Alternatively, the investor can choose option B, which is a straight five-year bond, again at an interest rate of 8%. So there's five one-year bonds, or there's one five-year bond as options for the investor. Now let's see how the expectation theory works. If investors expect that yields or returns or interest rates will increase in the future, they wouldn't want to be locked into a five-year bond, which has an interest rate that stays the same at 8%. They would rather choose a one-year bond so that when interest rates increase, they can purchase one-year bonds again to take advantage of the increase in the interest rates. So this will serve to increase the demand of the one-year bonds. So this increased demand on the one-year bonds or the short-term securities would drive up the price of such bonds, making it more expensive. And if it's more expensive, that means that the return or the yield of these bonds will be lower, thereby indicating how and why expectations of increased interest rates in the future result in an upward sloping yield curve. The demand on shorter term instruments would drive up the price thereby decreasing the return relative to the return still being provided by the long-term securities.